this video, we're going to look at five tips that will save you time when working in Microsoft Word. We're going to take a look at how to set the default font in Microsoft Word. We'll look at how to actually calculate using formulas and tables in Microsoft Word. Then we'll take a look at the sort feature and how to use that in Microsoft Word. Then we're going to take a look at the clipboard so that you can paste items that you previously copied, not just the very last item that you copied. And then I'm going to show you how to check within the app to see what's new so you can always see any new features and functionality that might be available to you in Microsoft Word. Let's take a look. In Microsoft Word, you can set a default font for all new documents or the current document that you're working on. To do that, just come up to your home ribbon under the font area. When you hover over this, you'll see that the shortcut is Control D to open up the font menu, or you can just click on this icon and it'll open up the font window. And here you can set a different font as your default font. So let's say we wanted Times New Roman and a size of 11 as our default font. We can say set as default and we have the option of saying this document only or for all documents based on the normal template. And then we can click OK. If we select that option and I come up and hit New, Notice that the new document has a default font setting for Times New Roman and 11. Now, if we want to change that back to the Windows default, all we have to do is come back up to that font window, change it back, and click on Set as Default, All Documents, click OK. And when we hit New to open up a new document, it will automatically be set back to the font that we selected. Microsoft Word allows us to do some simple calculations if we have a table in our actual document. So here I have a table, I'm going to select it, and then up here under Table Design, click on Layout. Notice that we have a formula button up here. This is what we're going to use to insert a sum function that will add up our column of information. So I'm going to come down to my table, and I'm going to hover down here at the bottom. I can click on plus to add a new row. If that doesn't show up, all I have to do is select the row above and I can um, insert a row below and it will insert this new row. This is gonna be where I have my calculations. And then I'm gonna place my cursor where I want to sum the revenue column. I'm gonna come up to the formula button up here and notice that it says equals sum above. And so it's going to sum all of the numbers in the table above where I have my cursor. I'm going to click OK. And it will give me a sum of my revenue column. Now, if I wanted to take an average, let's place my cursor over here in the expenses column. We'll click on formula. And notice you have all these different functions down here that we can take advantage of. So up here in my formula, instead of sum, I'm going to type average. And then I'm going to click OK, and it gives me an average. So now you can use these formulas to do actual calculations within your Word document. Microsoft Word allows you to sort items in a list. So if I were to select this bulleted list, and let's say I wanted to sort this in alphabetical order, I can come up on the home ribbon under the paragraph area, click on the sort button, and then it'll recognize that it's a paragraph and it's text. And if I say sort by ascending and click OK, this will sort that list in alphabetical order. Now, if I put dates in front of these items, we can actually sort by date as well. So let me input some dates and I'll show you how that works. OK, now that I have dates in front of my items, I'm going to go ahead and select the list again, come back up to sort and notice that the type is now date and if I select ascending and click OK. This will reorder and put those in the order of the date. Now I'm going to show you how to use the clipboard in Microsoft Word. Notice up here on the home ribbon, we have the clipboard. Go ahead and click on the button to expand the panel. And so we have a clipboard over here. And let's go ahead and select an item here and hit Control C to copy it. And then we'll select the item below to copy. And then we'll select the next item, number three, and we'll copy that one as well. 
Now, if I were to just come down here with my cursor and hit Control V to paste, it pastes the last thing that I previously copied. And so if I did want to paste an item that I had copied before that, all I have to do is now come over to my clipboard and I can select any of those items that I wanted to insert or paste next. So if I hit enter, I can paste a previous item. So you can do that when you have your clipboard expanded. Now I wanted to show you how you can access any new features or functionality that's available in Microsoft Word. All you have to do is come up to File, go down to Account, and over here, click on What's New. And periodically, you'll see different things that'll pop up under What's New so that you can see different features and functionality that are available to you. This is nice because you can access the What's New feature in all the different Office apps. So in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all the things that you use, you can periodically check out there and see what's new and what you can take advantage of using. Be sure and check out the other Word Tips videos that I have on my channel so that you can save time and see some cool tricks and things that you can do in Microsoft Word. Don't forget to share this video, and if you found it helpful, you can always give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure to visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.